Greetings, my friends. Thank you for watching this video, and if you would be so kind, please subscribe if you like what you see, help our channel to keep growing, and keep fighting the war to save pop culture. Together, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. Enjoy, and thanks. Greetings, my friends. I come to you today with some really potentially great news. It seems that it's possible that yours truly, the future ruler of Earth himself, has thrown a massive monkey wrench into Kennedy's plans to erase Indiana Jones 5. You see, people, this is why I leak rumors. Because when they prove to be correct, it can force some changes, as it appears that word getting out about what Kennedy has planned for Indy has given Disney pause and threatened Kennedy's rumored contract renewal to boot. Over two months ago, I broke a rumor that Indy 5 involved time travel, where young Indy would meet old Indy, both would die, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge would take Indiana Jones' place as the star of the franchise. A lot of this information was recently confirmed in an article published in the Daily Mail UK, but I have received information that makes everything in that article even worse, people. A source informed me that Kennedy was not only killing Indiana Jones and replacing him moving forward in the Indiana Jones franchise, Kennedy was going to go back in time and erase Indy from history, erase Indy from canon, and have Phoebe Waller-Bridge take his place, actually becoming Indiana Jones in history, being the only Indiana Jones there ever was. Well, the Daily Mail didn't confirm that bit of news, though they did confirm the time travel aspect as well as scene shot with Phoebe wearing Indy's hat and young Indy meeting old Indy. But even so, I have a feeling Disney just confirmed the rest of these rumors indirectly because Gizmodo is reporting that Disney has delayed Indiana Jones 5 for another year. Holy crap, I'm all you doing, cock. Why would they do that? Because apparently Disney watched my videos about what's going on with Indiana Jones 5, and they started asking questions. Huh? Is this true? What the fuck? And from what I've heard, Disney management freaked out when they figured out what was happening. That Kathleen Kennedy was about to destroy another of their treasured IPs, and so they decided to shut the whole thing down delay it a year, which given Ford's age is almost tantamount to canceling it. This has apparently not endeared Kathleen Kennedy to Bob Chapek, and I am told this may be the Hail Mary miracle that fans were hoping for to get her contract terminated. From what I'm hearing, Kathleen Kennedy may not get that rumored contract renewal after all. Before we go any further, I want to tell you that the information I'm about to share with you is information I was provided by third parties who claim to have knowledge of the situation, but since I cannot personally verify what I'm about to share, I present this as unverified rumor, and I ask you to please take it with a grain of salt. Though since a lot of the rumors you broke regarding Indy 5 have been verified, maybe a little less salt on this one, eh? Hmm. Possibly Harvey, but honestly, I think it's always important to view these videos as heads up rather than final stories. Early warnings rather than final outcomes. But that said, here is what I've been told. Gizmodo is reporting that a whole slew of Disney slash Marvel slash Lucasfilm projects have been delayed, possibly due to the IOTC strike that is looming. Despite IOTC having reached a deal with Hollywood, I'm hearing through the grapevine that members of the union are not at all happy with the deal, and may give it a thumbs down when it comes time to vote. Regardless, this is what Gizmodo says. Which Disney movies are delayed? Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, previously dated on 3-25-22, moves to 5-6-22, not that huge a delay. Thor Love and Thunder, previously dated on 5-6-22, moves to 7822 again not a terribly substantial delay black panther wakanda forever previously dated on 7822 moves to 111122 not a big deal untitled indiana jones movie 
previously dated on 72922, moves to 63023. <laughs> wow. So the other movies were delayed a month or two. Indiana Jones is delayed a full year. Uh, one of these things is not like the other, Doomcock. That <laughs> is correct. It makes a lot of sense that given the looming strike, Disney would shuffle the schedule around for a lot of these Marvel movies that have yet to even begin production. But the big question here is, why would they push back Indy 5 for almost an entire year? Even if there is an IATSE strike, which is pronounced IATSE for those who are wondering, presumably Indy 5 is far enough along that it would be allowed to finish production. They've been shooting a long, long time after all. Even with the COVID delays, they must be substantially close to finishing. So why yank the rug out from under Kennedy and push this thing back a whole year? To answer this, I've had two very strong sources contact me to provide context about what's happening behind the scenes. The first source, a longtime source of mine that has been proven to be accurate on many occasions, said this, quote, Disney management is freaking the fuck out, because it's true. Bridge is replacing Indy, and they are killing the character off in a way that erases him from canon. They're saying this is The Last Jedi on steroids. The Last Jedi on steroids? <laughs> oh, that's not something the Disney management ever wants to hear. No, they're not going to put that quote on the movie poster, no, Harvey. How Disney management would not know that Kennedy was planning this is a bit mind-boggling, but no more mind-boggling, I suppose, than Chapek knowing about it and letting it happen anyway. Unless, of course, Chapek knew about it and sat on it, giving Kennedy enough rope to hang herself with. Chapek knew that this would eventually come out, and when it did, it would be the perfect excuse to, what, to back out of KK's contract renewal? If that is the case, Bob J. Peck plays 5D chess that would make Mr. Spock blush bright green. Or it may simply be the Disney management doesn't really get involved in the creative aspects of scripts until it becomes a problem. And it has now <laughs> become a problem. Another source of mine, the inestimable WDW Pro, a good friend of mine who is now over at thatparkplace.com, contacted me about the situation with Indy 5 and Kennedy. While my first source maintains that Disney freaking out about Kathleen Kennedy erasing Indy from canon is the reason for the delay, WDW Pro has a different take on the matter. Quote, I would say we know now why Chapek is livid with Kennedy. The delay is due to the amount of CGI the film will take to complete. Something happened this past week they're being very quiet about. I don't know if there's another injury to Ford, but there's a recognition that he can't complete the film in a traditional way. I don't know if that means he's going to dub over a CGI substitute, or if he's out of all mildly actionable scenes. They were pretty hopeful two weeks ago. I was hearing very positive things about filming. I would say a one-year delay is just about at the edge of cancellation. It would be unprecedented, but it's turning into parody to put an 81-year-old into interviews for an action film <laughs> he's leading. They're really pushing their luck. Still no word on a deal for the contract extension. Sources say Kathleen Kennedy's lost the confidence of even Alan Horn, meaning the exiting Iger crew are ready to throw her under the bus. At this point, she may leave. I really struggle to see her getting a two-year extension to finish Indy. The additional year is also going to balloon this budget to a ridiculous total. She's in hot water. One more thing. Note, they didn't announce her extension and then announce the indie delay. That would have suggested confidence. Instead, they announced this without an extension in place, effectively throwing her under the bus. These things matter in figuring out what's at play behind the scenes. They know the narrative, unquote. Oh, that's true, man. If they were delaying Indy 5 for whatever reason, but they wanted to project confidence in Kathleen Kennedy, 
they would have announced her contract renewal, saying they're thrilled to have another two years under her expert guidance. Then they would have announced the postponement of Indy 5 and used the looming strike as a great cover excuse, and then quietly revised the ending to prevent Indy from being erased. The fact that they did it this way suggests that Kennedy is in deep shit behind the scenes. Oh yes, Harvey. On October 8th, WDW Pro contacted me. He was the one who initially convinced me that Kennedy's contract was going to be renewed in the first place. But when I asked him for an update on this contract situation, he told me at that juncture, quote, Kathleen Kennedy extension still not signed. My understanding is that as of a couple of days ago, the contract was complete, finalized but not signed by the Walt Disney Company, unquote. So apparently, according to the source who told me about this contract extension in the first place, that contract does exist, it is sitting on JPEG's desk, and thus far, JPEG has declined to sign it. And judging by Indy 5 being delayed a year, mm, that contract may not get signed at all. God only knows, Harvey. It may well still be signed, but for the reasons I have outlined in this video, there is at least a glimmer of hope for fans that this will be a day long remembered. It has seen the end of Indy 5, it will soon see the end of Kennedy's contract. But Hollywood is weird, and volatile, so while she may yet be renewed, it looks less certain now, at least, than it did two weeks ago. But only time will tell. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 